Hey, welcome back. My name is Sushant Sudhish and I am your instructor for this Power Platform Fundamentals PL900 certification course. We have just finished module 5. Module 5 was all about Power BI. In this video, we are going to do a quick knowledge check on the things what we have learned on the previous videos. So without wasting any more time, let's get into it. Let's look at question number one. Power BI helps with which of the following business processes? Is it to notifying users when a SharePoint list item has changed? No. Is it for generating an approval? Definitely not. So the correct answer is analyzing and displaying data. By analyzing and displaying your data, Power BI empowers business users to make beneficial decisions. Let's look at question number two. Which of the below is a way in which Power BI can help you effectively leverage your data? Is it analyzing sales data to better allocate resources and placeholders, optimizing operation? Yes, correct. Is it to analyze customer data to better target and promote specific item to the specific customers? Absolutely correct. So the correct answer is all of the above. Power BI can analyze all types of data you may have to assist in your business efficiency and decision making efficiency. Let's look at question number three. What are the three elements of Power BI designed to let people create, share, and consume business insight in the way that serves them or their role most effectively? So the correct answer is desktop, service, and mobile apps. So Power BI consists of Microsoft Windows desktop application called Power BI Desktop an online SaaS service called Power BI service and mobile Power BI apps that are available on phones and tablets as well. What is a dashboard? Is it one page collection or visualization that is created from within the Power BI service and online? Absolutely right. A dashboard is a collection of data displays. Power BI makes creating dashboard simple and easy so you can view all your important data on one page. Which statement is true regarding adding comments to a dashboard? Is it you can use the at the rate symbol to mention a colleague in a comment? Absolutely correct. Comments can be added to an entire dashboard or to individual visualization on a dashboard. You can add a general comment or comment targeted to a specific colleagues as well. Also, Comments can be added to a dashboard using Power BI or Power BI mobile apps. Let's look at question number six. What is one method for creating a visual? Is it drag a field from field list onto model view canvas? No, it is definitely not visualization pane as well. So the correct answer is drag a field from fields list onto report view canvas. Dragging any field from the field list onto the open white space of the canvas will automatically create a default visual for that data type. All right, so that concludes this video. In the next video, we're going to learn about Power Virtual Agents Overview. So I will see you in the next one. Till then, take care.